Um, it's been a while since I had anything on, and uh, one of the reasons was I was pretty sick. And um, they think they got all the cancer, they cut my esophagus out, and a lot of tissue around it. And uh, I'm not a happy camper, I'm not feeling good, I lost weight, you name it, it sucks. One thing that's kind of bothering me though is um, the more I read about the Camp Lejeune water and if that could have caused uh, the cancer and if it didn't, okay, but it, it is listed as one of the things that the water could have caused, at least I could have been informed instead of going six months thinking it was acid reflux and uh, that's what they diagnosed and that's what they worked on because uh, esophageal cancer isn't one that pops up every day. So why didn't they tell us? Why the fuck didn't they tell us? Uh, I was on the Agent Orange registry. They never told me that the uh, the heart disease was on there. No. I, I got my Agent Orange physical several, several years later. Uh, after my heart attack and everything, I find out that it's on there. And it happened after my physical. Couldn't they send an update, a fucking letter? I mean, if you owe them 20 bucks on income tax, they're going to find you. And um, I just feel like we've been sprayed and betrayed. And uh, if they didn't get you dropping it in the sky in Vietnam, they got you at Camp Lejeune. Um, and I read about S. S. Minger or S. S. Singer. It um, it was a guy that was there and. Uh, his daughter, I believe her name was Jamie, she died of leukemia, and he started the ball rolling, and I give a lot of credit, I mean, he didn't, well, he's a Marine, he didn't sit back, and uh, a lot of civilians were affected by this, a lot of little kids, wives, people that shouldn't have had been affected by poisonous water, contaminated water, and then when they knew about it, they still did shit. So there, fucking Semper Fi up your ass, Marine Corps. Uh, it might be the band of brothers, of us brothers, but definitely not the higher up because you're in a whole different category. You're not even fucking Marines. You're scum. You knew about the things, you fucking Navy guys, you commandants and fucking generals. You knew the shit that was going on and you try to hide everything and, and now memos are coming out where, oh, it's a little high on some of the levels, but it's not dangerous. 43 times higher. That's the biggest contamination thing that has gone on in the United States. It's almost a million people affected. How many people know? No one told me. Here, I was diagnosed with esophageal cancer, and the only reason I found it is that I put in the esophageal cancer on the Google, and um, I put down VA to see if there was any um, correlation between that and Agent Orange or uh, you know anything like that. And all of a sudden, Camp Lejeune comes up, and I'm going, what's this shit? Then I find out Obama signed it into law. People affected with any of these cancers will be taken care of by the United States government. Not the families yet, but just the people that were in the service. The families, no money has been allocated. and But it's, a, it's not presumptive, so it means it's a case by case. So they'll look at mine and go, well, you drank water and it was from the other well. So that fucking well done. They lied for fucking 30, 30 years. They were dumping pesticides. They were uh, volatile organic chemicals, uh, dry cleaning agents within a mile of the, mile, sight distance of the well, one of the wells. And if you're dumping it in there, it's going into an aquifer. That well isn't just sitting right there and all the water's there. I, I took care of wells. That was my job as a water purveyor. Uh, aquifers could be miles and miles long. They're, they're underground rivers. The stuff can run from one place to another. And it might show up on one test and not show up on the next test. It, it, there are too many variables. So they test it once a year. Oh, great. And in the meantime, the other 300 days and the water's going through and, and killing people. But like I said, I don't know if mine has anything to do with it, but I feel like I've been screwed so many times it doesn't matter anymore. And I just read things and I get more and more upset. And this morning um, I was looking at where senators were asking uh, uh, the Marine Corps um, lawyers 
and what do you have to say about this? Well, I happened before I was there, or, or I'm not privy to that information, or uh, well, that thing came out and somebody must have leaked it. And, and uh, most of the people don't care, but if it would have happened in some town somewhere with a million people, you better believe it. Everybody be up in arms. It's like the Agent Orange. I think it was Dow Chemical, Tenneco, and uh, DuPont. I don't know. I don't know exactly, but definitely it's one of them three, if not all of them, uh, were making the, um, the Agent Orange, Agent Purple. There was many different colors, but uh, the orange was the most widely used, and uh, it was just called orange because it was marked in an orange barrel, and it just had, I guess, different properties of how much dioxin and other chemicals that were in it. You know, to kill the uh, the plants, the vegetation. Well, we weren't told any of shit. And when they did go to, um, you can't sue. You can't sue any of those companies. They've been granted immunity by Uncle Sam. Oh yeah, Sam, I am. Uh, you can't sue those companies for the Agent Orange shit. You could sue the tobacco companies for tobacco uh, and nicotine and cancer. I guess you could still sue John Mansville or any of those with asbestos, but since this was for the United States government to kill the foliage and the people that were there, including, well, we were only there for a couple of years. That, uh, some of us served two tours or more. Even one tour was enough to get that shit in your system. And that was all well. And it's called presumptive now. So if you have something, we'll take care of you. Yeah, you will. Yeah, um, I really appreciate that. So there's a lot of wounded warriors out there that have never been hit by an enemy bullet. They've been hit by friendly chemicals. For what it's worth, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, keep up the good fight. Um, supposedly my cancer isn't there anymore. At least it's cleared for now. Not in remission, gone because they cut it out. I lost a lot of weight. Uh, can't eat. I do tube feeding. I'm trying to eat, but it's pretty difficult when you don't even taste anything anymore. And uh, but I want other people to know what's going on and make sure you do whatever you can and uh, don't let the, don't let Big Brother get over on you, man. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get my attitude back because I I like I like joking. Even if it doesn't help me, it helps others. So if you know any uh, jarheads that were in Lejeune and they have any weird cancers or something, tell them just go online. Type in Camp Lejeune contaminated water and you'll have a fistful of stuff. You go to YouTube and you can watch where the Senate was asking them questions and Tom Brokaw and I don't know. There's, uh, there's enough things. A lot of people didn't watch it, but do what you can and uh, if I don't come back and make any more videos it's because I'm dead <laughs> suicide runs through my brain constant now because suicide is painless it goes through I like that song The people don't know the theme song for MASH is uh, suicide is painless and it is an actual song with words look that one up okay um, Catch you later.